Hello everyone and welcome back to the workbench for another unboxing. This week I'm taking a look at this, the Hunting Percival Jet Provost T4 in 170 second scale from Airfix. Join me as I take a look inside the box and see what this one is like. So starting off on the front of the box we've got this rather attractive image of the Jet Provost in flight and on the back it tells us that it is a Jet Provost T4 from the Red Pelicans displaying team based at RAF Little Risington in Gloucestershire in 1966. Quite like these uh, simple kits from Airfix because everything you need is pretty much on the box. It tells you all the information you need. Um, so product code is A68219. Got some information on the side here about the actual aircraft. Indication of the paint scheme, skill level one, and one of those flying hours. We've got the uh, cartograph logo down here, which means the decals are gonna be top notch. And then on the back here, we've got an address for Hornby. The other short edge has got some warnings and the small edges have just got identification for when you are looking at this on the shelf. So very quickly we'll take a look at the painting and decal placement instructions. These are printed in full colour which is always great to see and you can see that it's primarily a red aircraft and there are included paints. You've got 11 silver, 19 red, 33 black and 64 grey. So on here you can see that the wheels and uh, landing gear supports are going to be black and uh, silver. Engine exhaust is silver and then you've got your black anti-glare panel on the nose. Inside I imagine is going to be a grey. Anyways, let's get the box open and see what we've got inside. As usual, let's take a look at the instructions first. So we've got on the front here some information about the aircraft in various languages along with some warnings and some tips down the bottom. Opening up, this information carries on and we've got a key to the different symbols on the bottom left. Continue over the page, again, more information and some more safety information, and then we get into the actual steps. So we start off by constructing the cockpit interior and we paint that mostly black and gray. We've got the two seats which get joined together, and we've also got the option of including pilots if that's what you wanna do. Moving on down, we install the cockpit assembly inside of the fuselage halves, assemble the tailplane and tail surfaces, Join the wings, and it says here we can install a stand if we really want to, but it's not included. Wing halves go on, engine air intakes, and then we get onto the landing gear steps. Having already built one of these previously, and there is a build video on my channel, it's not a particularly difficult kit to do, but these this landing gear area is going to be a little bit fiddly. Um, just regarding the nose, it does say we need to put two and a, two and a half grams of weight in there, um, so it would be best to try and fill that with as much weight as possible to prevent it from tail sitting if that's what you're going to do. Then we move on to the last page and we can add our canopy and it goes on in an either open or closed condition, so you have that option there. Cool, so re reasonably good instructions, which are up to the normal standard from Airfix. So let's take a look at the decals now, and we have a small decal sheet. These are printed by Cartograph, so they should be, you know, some of the best transfers you're gonna get out there. There should be no silvering when you apply them. They should conform to the details. And as you can see, the printing is really good as well. No registry issues, no misprints, nothing out of alignment. Even the small text is quite legible. So yeah, those are really nice to see. As a small point, it's probably worth noting that the Item code here is 855116, whereas the actual box is A68219. That's because um, if you live in the UK, like me, you can pick these kits up for quite cheap from Aldi and Lidl around the sort of November, December period of the year. And they tend to have different item codes on the boxes, but the actual components inside the box are the normal sort of starter set version because I guess it's just not financially viable to create different ones. But anyways, let's have a quick look at the starter set elements that you get. This is technically a gift set. It's not a starter set because FX have released their new starter set range. So all of these kits are now considered gift sets. But we've got a number two brush, which is the Humbrol Dash Airfix offering and you know these brushes are fine. I don't tend to have any problems with them. They are generally okay for what you need them to do. So let's put that to one side. And then in another little bag, we've got our included paints. 
So the red one is the 19, it says that there. These are the new style pots, so I'm just going to take a quick look because I've had them before where they've been dry on the inside. No, nope, that one's still wet, that one's still fluid, so that's good. And then I've got the 33 matte black because uh, there was a problem with the pots where they were creating like an air pressure in on the inside. That one's still wet as well, that's good. And uh, they were drying out basically. The paints were all coming to you dry. But I think they might have fixed that issue with these pots. Yep, number 11 is wet as well, good. And then the 64 dark grey. That one's still fluid as well, so good. That is nice to see that all of the paints included are still fully serviceable. We've got a tube of poly cement, and this one looks like it's leaked a bit because it's, well, it's sort of glued itself shut by the looks of it. The lid's cracked. See that? The lid has cracked, so I guess they put it on too tight and it snapped it. Um, I won't be using this cement. If you want to use this cement, you can. It will do the job, but um, I'm probably going to use something a little bit better than this. I'll probably just chuck that one away. So having looked at the extras of this gift set, let's take a look at the sprues. Two, three, and in a separate bag we have, let's just find the knife, all of the clear parts. So the plastic is a sort of bluey grey colour. It's maybe a little bit more blue than the normal Airfix plastic that we're used to. It feels a little bit greasy. Not massively so, but it might need a wash before we use it. But let's take a look at this sprue first. So on here you can see that you've got raised and recessed panels as appropriate. This is a more modern tooling from Airfix, so it should be quite good standard. The moulding looks to be uh, quite flash free as well. Moving on to the next sprue. There is a little bit of flash in a few places, but they're only tiny amounts and you know, it's nothing that a file or a sharp knife can uh, fix. The moulding on that is quite good. A little bit of internal detail as well. So moving on to the last sprue then. Um, we've got the lower wing parts, the halves of the seats, the tail plane, sorry, horizontal surfaces, wheels, and then we've got our pilots over here. Pilots look to be quite well moulded which is nice to see. It's always nice to see pilots included and the fact that it has two pilots because it has two, two seats, you know, that makes sense to me. But yeah, generally a very nice looking model. The clear parts then, these are crystal clear. Flash is very, very minimal. No blemishes. Very nice to look at indeed. And that is pretty much it. So let's just recap. We've got three sprues and a clear one of very nicely detailed parts which are very oh hang on i take my words back completely wow i didn't notice this just now when i was going doing the review but look at this on the wings that is a short shot on both sides look the plastic hasn't fully gone into the ends of the molding that is actually very disappointing hopefully if you've got one of these your plastic, these plastic parts are complete, but this is a short shot, which is very annoying. Not much I can do about that. This just goes down to some poor quality control in the factory, I'm afraid. Like I mentioned earlier, I have built one of these in the past and the previous sample didn't have that issue. Um, I'm not gonna send it back. I'm going to build it as is, but yeah, that is very annoying. I can't believe I didn't support that initially. Let's recap. We've got three plastic sprues with some lovely detailed parts. However, short shots are present on my wings. We've got some beautiful clear parts, a selection of humbral acrylic paints, which still seem to be usable. Personally, I'm probably not gonna use these. For example, the humbral 19, it's not great to brush paint with. It will end up being streaky and leaving brush marks in the paint work, which, which, which is a shame. If I were you, I would go out and get a spray can of uh, a glossy red. We've got a beautiful set of transfers, some glue, which is opened by itself. So whatever, no, I'm not using that. Uh, an acceptable number two brush, instruction booklet, which is relatively easy to follow and printed in color, which helps. All of which comes contained inside of a rather attractive box with some excellent color painting instructions on the rear. So how much would you be looking at spending on one of these? Well, if you were getting this 
Um, in, in normal circumstances, you could be looking at spending £10 for that here in the UK. Um, obviously, if you had my sample, which has the short shots on the wings, I would be taking that back to the, the seller. I'll be taking it back to the retailer or even contacting Airfix to get this replaced because that's not, um, that's not good enough, really. That's not good enough. Editing Matt here, I did actually send off an email to the spares department at Airfix to see if they did have any spares of that wing part. However, the response was no. No, they don't have anything in the spares department. Perhaps if I ask in a year, um, they might have some stock in, but sadly at the moment they don't. So if I were you and you had this problem, it would be going straight back to the retailer for a replacement. However, for me, I'm going to build it as it is because I have other ideas for this project. Anyway, back to past me. Um, but hopefully yours isn't anything like that. But for me, I paid £6.99 for this in a well-known discount supermarket here in the UK. So for that price, if it was in perfect condition, it would be an excellent gift or um, a side build or mojo build for you, given the fact that we've got quite a lot of good elements to the model. The tooling of this kit then, and I'll put the information on the screen, dates from 2016. So it's not a particularly old tooling in the Airfix repertoire, and it does show, you can tell by the sort of level of detail. The model set or the starter set version that we have here was first introduced into 2017, and it has been released in a slightly different version, which I've got in the stash um, with different paint schemes in 2019. However, this particular version as a gift set has been basically floating around since 2017. So I'm sure that it's probably something that we will see time and time again. But anyways, let me know down in the comments what you thought of my unboxing. Was my review fair? Quick shout out to my patrons and channel members for the extra support they give the channel. And I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome Neil, who joins us as a channel member here on YouTube. Welcome to the club. If you'd like to find out more about how you can get involved, take a look at the links in the description. Subbing to the channel and dropping a like would be greatly appreciated. And finally, the last thing to say to you is a massive thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the workbench again next time.